Welcome back to Link's Awake. <laughs> he's he's completely woke. There's no secret seashells on this file. <laughs> I told you. So, Probably uh, zero. I mean, it's kind of hard to get zero, but uh, yeah, we're back. We're playing more Link's Awakening. Um, Eric could not join us today, but... Sadly, without the broad. He will be in our memories always. And physically around us at times, at times too, because he is not dead. Just, yes, yes. Just yes. gone. Just gone. Not in this general area. <laughs> of my apartment. <laughs> oh, look, Chain Chomp, he's going to eat that oh. L1 down there. He's floating on top of my like UI. That's yep. cool. I like that. Man, seeing footage of the remake of this, and like mm -hmm. I know exactly what screen they're on. I know like what should be there in the original. And it looks almost like, you know, the tilt shift kind of um, aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. They also bring it like 45 degrees from what position that's this is at right now. A like, little bit, like, yeah. This is straight top down almost. Almost. It's a weird like asymmetric. Yeah. Maybe like if this was a grid display, like each one of those parts that you're sitting on is like its own brick or its own block. Mm -hmm. it, like, it is. This is grid based. So like those the well. parts that are elevated above you are just like two grids blocks above. Yeah, like up here is above down there and you you can get that when you're used to this kind of graphics as a kid, but mm -hmm. they make it much more clear with like actual slopes and changes in elevation. Yeah. And, uh... Just the aesthetic of like things, the draw distance in the remake, it looks like it's a little fuzzy. Yeah, like the ed the closer edges of the screen have like a little bit of fog to them. And... Yeah, like a vignette of like blur. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited for that. Do you think they're good? Well, the cool thing I saw was that they might have like a dungeon creator of there some kind. There is one in there. Yep. Yeah. So how it that works looks fun. is that it does because how it works is you, as you beat rooms and dungeons of or like as 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 you go through and you beat dungeons and you beat rooms within the dungeons, mm -hmm. you basically collect. You get your own little collection of collect like that square. Or something. Yeah, that like room. Yeah, that room. And then. Um, you can go to a certain place and talk to a certain person and he'll be like, hey, do you want to make your own dungeon? And there are ones where there are challenge like dungeons that you can make where it's like, uh, create a map that fulfills these three specifications of like maybe this many chests or this many doors or whatever. And then you play through that dungeon and... Uh, that sounds like it's, it's almost like Mario Maker Zelda. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. It's not like... And I, I I wish they would do something like that where you can make your own top down Zelda, but like with the Mario Maker kind of interface where you get all the different swapping between like this and Link's yeah. or Link to the Past and there you go, uh, and just making your own dungeon. I would say not just world or whatever, just make your own dungeon. Call them dungeon exploring or whatever. But yeah, it looks. Like, I could spend a lot of time in that world. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, because, as I've said before, Link's Awakening is my favorite Zelda game, and having the chance to revisit it and have more detail added to it and the redone music and everything about it, I'm going to love. Mm -hmm. uh, the Did you see the amiibo that's coming with it? Or not coming with it, but that you can get for it? Yeah, I think I saw it. it it's modeled the, after Link in yeah, the, the remake Link. with his little, like, Weird eyes. dot eyes and yeah. stuff. And it looks, the amiibo looks like it was taken straight from the game with a like, little bit of a claymation kind of look to it and oh, just his cool. complete design. And the cool thing about it that they revealed for the uh, remake... Oh, oh did I get a smooch? Oh, boy. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. L -l Lucky! <laughs> um, that amiibo, if you use it for the like dungeon maker, yeah, it puts Dark Link somewhere in that dungeon. Ooh. And if you beat him, it gives you a lot of rupees. Holy shit. But that's so cool. That that's, is cool. That's See, I like when amiibos are more than just a like a toy figure or mm -hmm. like a little piece of um like a bonus statuette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they have features and they have like memory saved on them and a bunch of different stuff. If they keep doing that, oh yeah, I'll I'll get uh more amiibos. We well, sure. don't even have anything of the trading sequence. So let's do that a little bit before we go to the next Dungan. The Dungan. We'll actually need to do that before we can get to the next dungeon, Yosh. so I'm glad I thought about that. What's up, Yosh? Oh, hey, nerd. In your glasses. Trendy game! One play ten errors. <laughs> One play ten errors. 
Play? No. Play. The A and B buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck. Weird capitalization there. What are we looking for? The shield? No. What are we looking for? Yosh? Yes. <laughs> now, I'm probably wrong about this, but the reason that you see so many um, Mario and, like, there's an enemy that is basically just Kirby, and there's, uh, I don't think there's any, like, Metroid influences, but there's certainly a lot of uh, Mario cameos and, like, influences on this game. For sure. Um, and the reason that that is is because, spoilers for Link's Awakening, this is all a dream. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like somebody just having a dream of Zelda, but then other Nintendo stuff is, like, entering that dream. And also that, uh, as far as I know, I think that some of the developers of, like, the Game Boy Mario games also contributed to this game. Makes sense. And they were like, well, let's, let's just tie them in and have some fun. And Shigeru Miyamoto, I think, liked that idea quite a bit. Because it's something familiar, but it, like, throws them into a new setting. So it, it makes sense in a dreamscape, too. Like, what are these weird creatures? It's from, like, a different dimension, basically. <laughs> and a, a lot of times when you, or at least me, like, when I have dreams or if I see somebody in the dream that looks a lot like somebody I know, but it's not that person, it's just a amalgamation of different uh, it's like a personalities and looks. But, like, the the, peop the house that you wake up in at the beginning of the game, there's the young lady who's, like, the surrogate Zelda, kind of. And then there's her dad who looks exactly like Mario. And it's just kind of fun to be like, oh. Oh, it's Is your familiar. Name like Marin or Marin? Marin. Marin. I mean, however you'd like to pronounce it. M A R I N. And he's Talon. T A L I N. And I like this guy right here. Those are my boys. <laughs> I'm Popple. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Popple. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me. Here. <laughs> we'll we'll do. Mr. So prescient. Popple. I know. <laughs> he's got he's got forethought. I'm gonna be lost. I'm gonna be stranded on a mountain. <laughs> and he like kind of whispers like. Don't tell my wife. Keep an eye out here. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a bow. We traded the Yoshi doll to the to the mother of the young children, and she gave us a bow. Cute. Look at her dress shift in her. She just jam into the what is that a wind uh, windmill thing? Wind it's wind vane. A, oh yeah, wind vane. Here sleeps the flying rooster. I wish I could bow my head in respect, but I'll just... It almost looks like a GameCube. Boop, 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 boop. It's like a three-port GameCube. Oh, it Cube. does! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> Since it's purple. I always like these little doggies. I wish you could interact with them more, but you can't. You They're just hit. there for you to accidentally hit, and yep. then they attack you. Oh boy. I just love to They're see... They're well within their rights. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh, yep! Oh, his yep. name is Bimk. This is Eric's file, because his name is Bimk. <laughs> This is also what I used to do as a kid. She'd start singing. Put the controller and down. And I'd put the Game Boy down and just listen. And then it would run out of batteries. And the the son of the person who was babysitting me, whose Game Boy it was, that I'd be playing it all day while he was at school, would come home and do a dead Game Boy. And he'd be like, man, I can't be that mad at you, but now my Game Boy's dead. <laughs> I think that was before I even knew how to read or even play video games it was just like oh i discovered that if you push this button in front of this person she does a singing thing and i like the music <laughs> uh so we're gonna who so, do you think in this town would appreciate a bow a bow a little ribbon a oh little, a bow a pink, oh, i got you pink little ribbon a little girl well you're correct let's go find that little girl hey little girl oh god uh, i want it all and some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon! I need it! We traded for my dog food? Seems like a good trade. Yes. Ah, beautiful. Well, here's your... <laughs> dog food. Yeah. I, I always like that, too, how they put in the text box just a, like, picture of what you... <laughs> Here it is. You exchanged... Mm, for, mm. <laughs> it's full of juicy... Mm. Juicy beef. There... There's a skeleton in here. That's scary, too. <laughs> oh my the God. implications. 
You know, I'm feeling a little bit stressed. I don't know if that's dog food. Maybe it's the meat, the juicy beef from that bones off oh, that dead you've corpse. You've opened my eyes to a whole new world. A whole new world. Don't you dare go fishing. Oh, I thought that was his donger. <laughs> <laughs> Just dipping my peener in the town lake. <laughs> now that's a weird image that I have in my head. Just a, a crazy old man going to a lake with like a th pants, a three foot, and just kind of like bendy. Yeah, bending his like bamboo pole style, bending his member into the the lake and then walking away. <laughs> the perfect cast. <laughs> this screen always got my... me because I was like, I want to go in that house. I want to. I want to go in that water. Jesus. Go, 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 I go, will go. lift this lake. Uh, fuck you, lake tree. But yeah, I'm gonna go fishing because we're gonna get a heart piece out of Does it. We call you little buddy, little like the, buddy, like the skipper. <laughs> hey, little buddy. <laughs> uh, God, I don't think he even calls you anything uh, uh. colloquial. <gasps> fishing mini game time. All right, we'll be back in the next episode oh, when we're fishing. But I got, I got one on the hook. I got one on the hook. You do? Yep. Oh, you see how good I am? I'm a real angler. It's a runt. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.